Hey now, what is up? What is going on today? Another episode of Stay Smooth Shaven with your host, David, a.k.a. The Smooth. If you smell what the smooth is cooking. That's right. Another episode of Stay Smooth Shaven with your host, The Smooth. And welcome. Today, we are doing it again. We are doing it big. We are doing it like we always do. So welcome. Hope you guys have a great day today. Hope you had a great shave. I'm right in the middle of mine. Excuse me. Right in the middle of mine. I want to bring up Sterling. You see that? Coco Forest. Now, I have this here. Pushed in a little glass jar here. Now, this scent is awesome. It's great if you like chocolate scents. But just went on Sterling's website, looked for it. I couldn't find it. I don't know if they discontinued it. They're going to re revise it somehow and bring it back, but I hope they do. It's got a, a natural coconut scent, coconut, chocolate scent, excuse me. And with a hint of fir needle or some kind of forest scent, it's really nice. It's given me a great shave so far. Started out with the gold dollar. Boom! Learning my technique. Still a little sketchy around the chin area. Oh man, I can't tell if I got the right blade angle. So any straight razor shavers out there and you got any tips for me, I would duly appreciate them. Not sure if the, when you got the right angle, does it feel smooth? Because I'm still feeling kind of rough and it's kind of not a smooth shave. I don't know if that's normal. Help me out. Help your boy out. Anyways, back to the lecture at hand. Coco Forest by Sterling. It's awesome. It's eight bucks, I think it was. I bought it a long time ago. I put it in the back of my closet. I was going through some stuff. I found it. I found it with the matching aftershave. I guess I've gotten to that point where I've got soaps that I haven't tried yet. Never thought I'd get there, but I'm there. So, I'm liking it. Eight bucks, I think it's four ounces. It comes like two bucks an ounce. It was awesome. I think I, think I got this on sale, to be honest with you. I think this was like nine or ten bucks. It was, it's awesome. So I hope they bring it back. Sterling, uh, if not, you know what you're doing. But I'm just glad I got some. But I'm right in the middle of my shave. I've got the uh, satin tip loaded up. Bada boom, bada bing. I've got the McCore with another feather blade. I think this is the third use on the feather. And let's go through our third pass of this shave. And let's get it going. All right. I love Sterling. One of my favorite tallow soaps. It's one of my favorite soaps of all time, actually. How can you go wrong with the price, with the scents they offer? Um, I haven't yet got a Sterling that upset my skin, that's tingled my skin, or nothing like that. So, I really dig Sterling. Great soap. I think I got this from Sterling website. They sent it out no problem. The wife and husband team do awesome. I forgot their name. Sorry about that. Um, but they are a good company. Always putting out top quality products. I really dig Sterling. Now this scent, it's awesome. It's got like a, a natural chocolate scent, like a cocoa scent. But it's got like a, a foresty fur needle. It's just unique. I like it. And this, the performance on this is awesome. Great stuff. All right. But yeah, hope everyone's doing good. Road construction's over on my side of the street. Don't you just love it when they do road construction? No offense to uh, road construction workers. You gotta do what you gotta do, but it is what it is. Man, Sterling is so slick. And I usually get more slickness out of uh, vegan soaps because of my water. 
but this sterling is just so slick. I love it. This is a nice scent too. Pleasantly surprising. Not even close to like a, uh, I have the Phoenix uh, chocolate bourbon. Totally different smell, totally different scent profile. This one's more natural co uh, cocoa, like a chocolate with that nice uh, foresty scent. I find it quite nice. But I hope everyone's doing good on this Thursday. Super slick. Look at that. I don't gotta re-wet my face. Sterling is making it happen. Clean up my sideburn here. I kinda there we go. Let me rinse my face. Great stuff. Great stuff by Sterling. It comes, well the one I got came wrapped up in a uh, like a little cellophane biodegradable wrapper like this and I just stuffed it in these little glass. I like glass, I don't know. I could have got plastic but I think I got six of these at the dollar store for a dollar. So go get you some. And we all know Sterling is a great performer. I love it. One of my top favorite favorites. It's beef tallow, stearic acid, distilled water, castor oil, vegetable glycerin, potassium, sodium hydroxide, almond oil, lanolin, shea butter, coconut milk, essential oil, clay, sodium lactate, cardamom seed. I mean, for the price, you're getting awesome stuff in here. Awesome post shave. You can't go wrong with Sterling. I'm telling you, they are in my top two favorite soaps. Right off the bat, I want to put it out there. I dig Sterling. I consider myself a frugal, not cheap, frugal man. And I love a deal. And Sterling, bravo. You do good stuff at a great price. I respect that. And great customer service, by the way. I'm going to do some witch hazel. Feeling good in the neighborhood. Oh, what a great shave today. But yeah, if anybody out there that uh, watches this can help me out on some tips of angle of my straight razor shave, um, or is it just trial and error? I heard that you just got to try it out, but I could really use some tips if you guys got them. We really appreciate it. Gonna follow it with the matching aftershave, Cocoa Forest. And I love this stuff. It's basically um, dehydrate, uh, denatured alcohol, witch hazel, essential oils, aloe, glycerin, carbon seed, and hydrovance. Awesome stuff. And yeah, it just smells like chocolate cocoa with like a hint of like pine needle. Like when you go to the, oh, I live next to the Sierra forest right here so sort of reminds me of not the chocolate but the fur needles you know like the pine and it's nice very nice so let's put some on the old face here oh yeah that's unique Ooh. definitely got some zip to it very nice Hmm. Very interesting. I like that. That is nice. So there it is, people. Just a little, uh, I would say, a lake showing on the cocoa forest. Found it in the back of my closet. Smashed it in the glass. And I think it's a keeper. Love Sterling. 
Okay, let's talk about slickness. Slickness, I give it a nine. Boom. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, after slickness, we got post shave, face feel, nine. That's right, I said nine. Okay, what else do we got? We got uh, cushion, eight. It has cushion, but this is a slick soap. So, cushion, I'll give it an eight. Maybe a 7.98. Okay, what else do we got? We got slickness. We got cushion, we got face fill, post shape, I think that's the same as face fill, that's a 9. Overall, this soap, oh before I get to that, the scent strength, it's a nice 5, it's a nice one, it's not too stout, it's not too weak, it's a 5, boom, bada, bing. The scent, it's a seven. It's a solid seven. <whistles> solid seven. So there it is. I do have some in the brush here, but you saw me lather it like, uh, I don't know. I guess I can do it in the hand, but I'll just pull some out. And, man, it's got some nice feel here, but there you go. Bada boom, peeking at the right time. There it is, party people. Another great shave. Learning how to do my skills on the straight razor. One day I will be like you guys. You guys are my heroes. <laughs> Anyways, I've had a good time today. Hope you guys did as well. So until next time, party people. This is D Smooth saying, you stay smooth.